Welcome to our third grade overview. This is going to be our virtual open house, so let's go ahead and start. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Hawk. I have taught second and third grade for 11 years. I was a principal for 10. I also was a district administrator for a couple of years. I've attended the various universities, University of Illinois, National Lewis, Dominican, and Loyola. I'm a mom, wife, sister, and I also am so happy to be your child's teacher this year. So we're gonna cover a couple of different topics throughout the slideshow, and let's start with absences. So these are absences that are not COVID related. So please know that classwork can be sent home with a sibling if your child is sick. I can package everything up in a plastic bag and send it to a sibling. It can be picked up at the office or it can be given to your child when they return to school. Please note that there is no official due date on any of the absence assignments. You finish them as you are able. And I would ask you to complete the current homework first and then work on the missing assignments as time goes on. So I want to talk a little bit about book bags. So every Monday, starting in the next week or so, your child will receive a small paperback book that is passed out each Monday in a gallon Ziploc bag along with a graphic organizer. And here's the breakdown of how they should complete this assignment for the week. On Monday, they should read the book silently to themselves. On Tuesday, they should read the book aloud or with someone else. On Wednesday, students should complete half of the graphic organizer. And then on Thursday, the other half of the graphic organizer. And then on Friday, the completed graphic organizer, the book, and the book bag are returned to me and then I will go ahead and collect them, sanitize them, and so forth. So know that no child will receive a book that another child has used. I have so many of them, they'll each get a fresh one the following Monday. But this is just a way to make sure your child is always interacting with print, either by reading or writing during the week. It's one of the most important skills that they're going to learn in the third grade. We're going to begin with short informational text and then eventually go to some longer fiction um, chapter, chapter type books, very short chapters. But it's a way really for us, again, to really promote literacy in the third grade. So birthdays can be celebrated on the actual day if your child's birthday falls on a school day. For weekend birthdays, you can choose to celebrate it the Friday before or the Monday following. And any summer birthdays can be celebrated as a half birthday or sometime in May before the school year ends. Please note that students may be out of uniform on their birthday. So we do have a behavior plan. If you look to the right of your screen, you see this, which is posted in our room. We have good green, yellow, think about it, and a red needs improvement. And this is how it works. So students start each day on green, good. And if their behavior in class is not in keeping with our rules, they will move their clothespin to yellow, think about it. And then at this point, if behavior still does not improve, the student moves to red, needs improvement. So the consequences for moving to needs improvement is missing recess for one day. And if there are multiple needs improvements in one week, this will result in the parent meeting to discuss a plan of improvement. Typically, if a child just gets one needs improvement, you know, sort of randomly, I don't contact parents, we don't make a big deal of it, they come back the next day and go back to green good. Uh, but if there's a pattern of poor behavior, then I will contact you and, and let you know about that. So you can reach me at mhawk at stgilesschool.org. Please know that I may not be able to answer your email immediately, depending on our daily schedule. I do have some breaks, but they're different every day. If you really need me to know something or your message is time sensitive, 
I would ask that you call the office at the number listed on your screen, or you can leave an email at the office at St. Giles School.org address. They will make sure that I get the information before the date is out. So please do allow me a 24-hour time period during the school week and a 48-hour time period over the weekend to respond to all of your emails. And know that my teacher page on the school's website also will be updated weekly, usually on Monday, to keep you abreast of any homework, assignments, and assessments. And check this page periodically. So during COVID-19, we are taking many safety precautions. Some of them in the room are as follows. The student desks are separated as far as we can. Um, each child received an individual area in our classroom to put their extra textbooks. Each child has their own personal basket for supplies, crayons, markers, glue, scissors. We all know that classroom supplies will not be shared and all common areas are sanitized during the day periodically and also after school. If I do work with a small group of children, it will be no more than three at a time. And masks are worn all day in the school and in the classroom with the exception of our snack and lunch when children actually move their desks further apart so that we maintain a larger physical distance. So please do make sure you check your child's temperature each morning and send in a few extra masks. We have had a couple of masks breaking, sometimes the strings break, so it's great if you can send a few spares if that happens. We also have the stay safe rules posted in our classroom and our, we're also enforcing them. We're washing and sanitizing our hands frequently. Students wash their hands after the the, the, after they use the bathroom with soap and water. We also wash right after recess with soap and water. We're wearing masks, as I mentioned. We practice the airplane arms to keep apart. In the hallway are some footprints, paw prints, so that the children know the safe distance to stand apart in the hall. Um, we stick together. We don't take the children out of the room. The special teachers come into our room. We're really letting the kids know to tell an adult if you don't feel well and that sharing is not caring during COVID. And the children seem to understand this. So we do have a snack in third grade. Students can bring a healthy snack such as fruit, crackers, cheese, fruit snacks, pretzels, popcorn, etc. Please no nut products though. And as I mentioned before, we use the washroom first Students wash their hands with soap and water, come up and then enjoy their snack. We do call it a working snack and it is eaten while students are completing some assignments in the morning. Typically, we're working on some language arts or a journal, something along those lines. There's no need to send in a beverage. Students can drink from their water bottle and have access to their water bottle all day. Also, please, if your child is receiving a hot lunch, a Marla's lunch or a fun lunch, Make sure that they still have a snack. If you could send it in their lunch box, that's great. We stack the lunch box along the back wall for easy access. So please, again, even though your child may have a hot lunch, send in a snack for them each day. Now the culture and climate in our school and our classroom is a place where we're all loved, valued, and respected. And we say together we're better because we respect each other and learn from each other's mistakes, and encourage one another, celebrate each other's successes. We also apologize and forgive for those times when we do make some mistakes. And we really try to work openly and honestly in a positive way, relying on our faith in God to guide our actions and also our responses. So we try to make it a place where everyone is loved, valued, and respected. And our school also participates in the Olveus Bullying Program. So here are the anti-bullying rules that we will use this year. We'll not bully others. We'll try to help students who are bullied. Try to include students who are left out. And if we know that someone is bullied, we'll tell an adult at school and an adult at home. And as the year progresses, we'll have some Olveus Mondays 
where we'll have a special schedule and set aside some time to discuss the four rules and also some other topics as a class. We'll have class meetings and work to make sure our school is um, a place where no one is bullied. So at this point, I'm going to stop. This is the end of part one. When I come back, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the curriculum overview. So please make sure to watch part two.